FirstStepReading.com. Here's a fun experiment you can do with your child so they could see pollination. All I did is I took a note card and I drew a flower on it and then I put the note card in a sandwich bag so it stays clean. And if you have orange jelly, you can use that. If not, any jelly is fine. And your child takes the jelly and spreads it on the flowers. And this jelly represents the pollen on the flowers, okay? Just spread the jelly on the flowers through the bag so it's clean. And you spread it. You can even do different colors if you want on each of the flowers so you can see the different pollens. But I'm just using strawberry jelly because that's what I have. Okay, so that represents the pollen that is just naturally on the flowers. Then my bee is just a marshmallow. And I put it on a straw so it's not sharp. And my bee is going to come onto the flower mm -hmm. to drink mm -hmm. the nectar. Uh-oh, it gets pollen on it. And then it takes it to the next flower. Uh-oh, it has even more pollen on it. Because it's trying to drink the nectar, right? And then it takes it to the next flower to drink, to drink the nectar. And it gets more pollen on it. And you see all the pollen that is on the bee. The bee is our marshmallow. And then your child can eat it and they can taste how pollen gets stuck on the bee and how it spreads it from flower to flower. And they can eat their bee and they'll taste the jelly on it. So that's a fun way to show pollination. Just sandwich bags. Drew flowers on note cards, put them in the sandwich bag so they're clean, and one marshmallow on a straw and jelly. Hi, this is Heather from FirstStepReading.com. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube at First Step Reading. Like us on Facebook at First Step Reading. And follow us on Instagram at www.firststepreading.com. Thank you for watching our videos. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our channel. Thank you and have a great day.